I think, uh, I think I think more more important he has you know he has a billet and he has he's he's been there in the positions that have have needed to administer this stuff so as as someone that's been in these positions and these billets um give us give us some of your knowledge that you have man what what, what do you think some of the medical profession uh professionals now should be doing should be uh administering to these guys what what are some things that they could you know i mean whether whether you want to admit it or not you have the experience man and that that goes far so what's something that you think that you know people nowadays instead of coddling instead of you know over prescribing medications what what, what do you think something that should be uh administered to uh guys nowadays struggling with this stuff well i mean uh I want to point out that I have my bachelor's degree in healthcare management and I have my master's degree in public health and I got those while I was active duty. So, um, Mm -hmm. you know, I'm not just some chump just shooting off the cuff. Right. And I, and I have the real world experience too. And mental health has a place, but you know, mental health is kind of a self self self-fulfilling prophecy. You know, it's one of those business like being a drug dealer, right. You know, as long as you keep peddling your shit, you got people to come back. And I think they're too quick to throw medication at people and mental health meds are kind of a shaky street, man. Uh, you know, I, I would prescribe, you know, antidepressants to people, but I always gave it to them, you know, Hey, this is like when you sprain your ankle, I give you some crutches for a little bit. I don't expect you to be on this antidepressant the rest of your life. Cause yeah. you know, we need to get to the, we need to get to the root of the problem. You know, you can't just, give them medication that's the easy thing and you know what that generates money for them and that's a big one right there (laughs) yeah and that's not the answer and you know at the end of my career and chris knows this you know it it, my career was at small i was all i was never at big hospitals i was always at small clinics and shit like that and it was usually a physician that was in charge of the clinic so you have somebody that's actually doing the job that is running the clinic well where I retired from, we had two admin officers for a tiny ass clinic. Well, admin officers, they, they're not, they, they're not seeing patients. They, it's that whole thing of somebody's telling you how to do shit, but they're, they're not the ones doing the job. They don't know that, oh, you're going to go pour concrete. And they're like, oh, you need a, con- you need a cement mixer. Well, yeah, we need a fucking cement mixer. You know, 